What's up guys? Today we're talking land nav again and specifically how to use the bezel on your lensmatic compass to keep your azimuth on the move. Okay, this is a super rudimentary basic skill that everybody should know and it wasn't until I saw a lot of junior enlisted guys on land nav courses or even uh, on patrols uh, and sticks lanes and things like that where I noticed that a lot of guys didn't know how to do this and then I started thinking I remember being in basic training and never being taught this. We would shoot an azimuth and then pick a landmark that was in the direction of our azimuth and then move to that landmark and then consequently piggyback the next azimuth until we got to where we were going. So it wasn't until my squad leader and my team leader showed me when I got to my unit that I learned this skill and it blew my fucking mind. So now if you're a junior enlisted guy and you don't know this, uh, no reason to be ashamed because I'm going to show you today. Okay guys, let's say our azimuth is uh, roughly 300 here, right? So then all we're going to do is take the bezel and align it with the north indicator and they illuminate for night land nav. And then you're just going to move out on your azimuth. And then as you inevitably drift, let's say we drifted to the left here, you can even do this on the move. You're just going to look down and self-correct because all you need to do is realign those two indicators together and now you're back on azimuth. Too easy. Okay, now you know how to keep your azimuth while you're on the move. Now obviously your pace count is going to lengthen because of the drift, but just factor that into your planning and you should be good to go. Alright, I'm Sergeant Craig for 299 Scouts and remember to always improve your fighting position.